Hey Libras, welcome to your love reading July 2nd to the 11th for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm still getting used to the hair. Anyway, Libra, your energy is really kind of nice right now. It's really mellow, which I was kind of surprised by given the eclipse energy we're in, which is in a cardinal sign, so Libras will be affected by this, um, or at least should be. But you're feeling very mellowed out, which is really awesome. I think you're very grounded right now. Um... I actually it's I feel like you actually have a lot of quiet time more than you usually do or at least you've some of you have made sure that you got some quiet time right now others you're just finding you have more quiet time right now but you're really enjoying it you're really enjoying it I feel like you're actually being left alone I don't know what that's about maybe some of you guys had an argument with somebody and you're like I need some spice. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't talk to me while I'm mellowed out. You know, it could be it could be a little bit of that for some of you, or it could, could be vice versa. Um, but yeah, you're just in a quiet space. I also get the sense, Libra, that, you know, you're doing a lot of, like, nourishing of the mind, which is actually really nice. That's awesome. Um, people don't really realize that about Libras. Libras like knowledge. You like to be educated. Um, you like to nourish the brain. You guys are about indulgence. You guys indulge in the mind space as well. You are an air sign after all. Um, Taurians like to indulge more in the physical because they're earth, right? And they are your sister sign because they share Venus with you. But you're more of the mind, the mind space. You're educating yourself. You're studying different things. You're, you're wondering what you don't know actually also um in, in regards to whatever it is that you're you're teaching yourself about i just like you're doing a lot of learning a lot of nourishing of the mind even some meditating you're just feeling very zen libra very very peaceful um some of you are also doing a lot of reminiscing of your childhood i'm getting a lot of nostalgia energy coming in you know maybe you're spending time with family we are you know we at least here in the states we have fourth of july um family time right um you could be reminiscing of family remembering your childhood oh that's weird oh that's weird i just saw a pogo stick do they even make those anymore <laughs> i don't think they make those anymore um and actually i've never used them personally i mean they were around when i was a kid um but they always seemed very dangerous to me like i was always that kid i was always paranoid i was gonna get hurt but anyway um yeah Libra you're doing a lot of reminiscing of your childhood and of your past just be careful though because some of you might be reminiscing of a relationship and we are in you know a lot of intense energy you could be manifesting that person back to you because I can see at least in the pre-shuffle cards alone someone from your past is coming back I know I know Mercury eclipse season it's Lazarus season we all got to deal with it right I've even had a Lazarus already myself um but yeah, Libra, careful with that because some of you are actually manifesting this person back to you, okay? All right, so let's go and get into the pre-shuffle. I just say be careful because if you don't want them back, hello, they're here. Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, you could be a Libra, Scorp, Cusper, Soulmate energy, past life energy, karmic energy with the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. They're coming in, definitely someone from your past, someone that you maybe not have had a great history with, but someone that really misses you. Someone that really misses you hasn't stopped thinking about you. Definitely hasn't stopped thinking about you. Coming in with a lot of charm. <laughs> I just feel you're rolling your eyes, Libra. You're you're almost too zen to deal with this bullshit. You're just kind of like, oh. <laughs> you again. It's like, <laughs> Libra, I love you. You guys always crack me up. Um, but definitely someone returning from your past who is acting very charming, male or female. And look at you, Libra. <laughs> Do you not feel an eye roll here with these cards? I'm sorry, you guys are making me laugh. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, Four of Cups, Can't Syrian energy. <laughs> Go away, fly shoe. It's like, yeah, you don't want anything to do with this person. You are not giving them anything, anything. You're not even looking at them. You're not even looking at them, Libra. You just, you, you couldn't be bothered. I, I don't want to be bothered. I can't be bothered with you. Um, then we have the world in reverse, which is fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, which was Capricorn. And then we have uh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. You, it's Some of you thought you put this to bed. Some of you thought you put this to bed. And clearly you're like, oh, I guess I haven't. I guess I need to. Do I need to finally put you all the way six feet under? You know, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that energy. Um, I'm also getting some family in here too. A lot of family stuff coming up for people. A lot of family stuff coming up for people. Um, 
Oh, and I was getting that. I was getting that. Like, give me space. Give me space. It was either a lover or a family member. Well, they're not giving you space anymore, Libra. It's kind of pissing you off because you need more space. And it's like, this is not a, an awesome foundation. It's not. Whatever happened, for some of you, like I said, this is someone you asked space from, a lover or family otherwise, and now they're back sooner than you need them to be, and you're really not happy about it. And you're like, we're already in a fragile state, and now you're already making me agitated again, or you're already pressing my buttons again. It's like, Libra, I really feel like you've tried to end this. I really feel like you've tried to end this. For those words to someone returning from your past and you're like, oh my God, it's you again. Um, I feel like you've tried to end this already and clearly that you need to do a final closing with the world card here. You need to do a final closing. They don't want this to end though. They don't want this to end. They want the door open forever. <laughs> Indef that my guides just said indefinitely. Yeah, they want this door open indefinitely. And for those where this is like a romantic partner or family member where you're just like, hey, I just need some space. Now you're thinking, maybe it's time I really close this out. Maybe it's time I really don't just take a break anymore. Maybe it's time I'm like, I'm actually done. You know, they're just a little, they're just a little too charming and you are just so not having it. Wow. All right. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get into your reading here. Um, for anybody who has any uh, questions, curiosities, confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th? Any messages for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th? One more. My glasses keep falling. <laughs> Any messages for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th? All right. Any messages for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th? Any messages for Libra? Let's see here. Wow. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Devil in reverse. More Capricorn energy. There is some funky stuff going on with Capricorn right now. I've talked about this in my, um, in the Eclipse New Moon video that I did. I always go through the first, you know, that cycle of energy. So go and check that out. But there's stuff going on with Capricorn. Might be affecting you here, Libra. High Priestess, oh. I, I got a little download as to why. We'll get into it. High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Oh boy. Clarity's coming through. A lot of truth is coming out. And it's, it's, mo it's just more about what you're not tolerating. It's just more about the bullshit you're not gonna put up with. But Libra, um, Capricorn energy is playing a role here and it's because of Saturn. It's because of Saturn. Um, there's a conjunction happening actually with the South Node, in Cap, which is in Capricorn, um, in a conjunction with Saturn, which is retrograding in Capricorn, okay? Causing some issues with authority and control. You feel like this person, for those of you where it's like you're taking a break, from this person where you're not broken up it's not like for some of you like i said this is you're dealing with someone returning from the past others it's someone you've asked for a break from for those where you've asked a break from this person you feel like they're intruding it's like because you feel like you're losing control of your space and your boundaries because they're back sooner than you wanted them to be but libra in all fairness just playing a little devil's advocate here um if you didn't put a timeline on it how would they know when to come back <laughs> right for some of you you didn't put a time a time limit on it how would they know when to come back i'm just saying i'm just saying that's for like at least a couple of you out there something to think about because with this um saturn conjunction with the with the south node it's a lot of issues of of exerting authority exerting control exerting who's who's boss bitch right who's on top who's literally who's the bottom who's the top um and some of you there might be a little bit at play for those of you who are on a break who are annoyed at this person trying to you know, come back before you're ready. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's see what else we get. Any other messages for Libra? <laughs> wow, a lot of pentacles. Four pentacles in reverse, more Capricorn energy. Oh man, okay, I would be surprised if you're not dealing with someone who has a strong Capricorn placement. Any other messages for Libra regarding love? July 2nd to the 11th. Any other messages for Libra? Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Oh, boy.
boy. Oh, Libra. Oh. Every time a card comes out, it's like, I always get the chills. Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy. Not the greatest place to land on. You just want to be left alone, Libra. Oh my God, that's what I'm feeling. I'm just feeling, get the hell away from me. Just leave me, just leave me alone. Let me be in my bubble. Let me be in my Zen mode. It's like, you just do not want to be bothered right now by anybody, like anybody. Overall energy, Libra, we do have the Eight of Pentacles underneath that. Three of Swords in Reverse, Moon and Libra energy. So you got some of your Librian energy here with Virgo, with focus, focusing on healing. Wow, focusing on healing. Libra, if this, again, for those where this is someone who's coming back from your past, and for those where you're taking a break, there's been some hurt. There's been some hurt. And those of you who are rolling your eyes at this person coming back, they're back for a reason. They're back to close the door. We had the world in reverse. They're back to close the door for good. This is a healing, this is a healing energy that you need to be harnessing right now regarding this person from the past and for this person that you took a break from. Libra, just based off the cards and my own intuition, it, it seems like it's time to wrap it up. I'm sorry. You had the world card in reverse. I mean, it was very clear. And you're so aggravated at them just coming in charmingly that it's like, e, if there's that much pushback from you emotionally, it's time to really question why. At the very least, just think about why that is. Like, why is it so aggravating for you to be around this person? Um, how much did they really hurt you, Libra? Is it to a point where you can't really forgive them? But you know how I feel about forgiveness. Forgiveness is incredibly important. Try to forgive everyone you can, okay? Try. Because it's not for them, it's for you. Um, but there's a lot of hurt here, Libra. There's a lot of hurt here. So just think about it. So let's get into the cards. So you have three of pentacles in a verse, devil in a verse, and high priestess in a verse. Libra, I feel like you're in a high priestess energy, which is awesome, by the way. No wonder your, your brain is your brain and mind is feeling so nourished here. Because you're coming to a lot of information about oh, now it's making sense. About what you didn't know. Mm. Oh, that's not feeling good. <sighs> about what you didn't know. For those of you where this person is someone from the past. Um, obviously there's no collaboration, <laughs> right? You're not collaborating with them, but I feel like whatever happened, whatever the trigger was to make this person someone of your past, um, essentially whatever caused a rift between you two, I feel like they wouldn't work with you. I feel like they wouldn't collaborate with you. They, they refuse. I'm getting refused actually. Refuse to be on the same page. A very stubborn en energy, very stubborn energy. But with the devil, being right next to it, I do feel like it's because of, oh, well, here we go with control again. For some, it was control issues. Others, there were addictions at play, like codependency issues. Yeah, codependency issues and control issues. Wow, no wonder this is coming back, especially with this conjunction going on. Um, that's for some. Others, I hate to say, there was an external energy at play here. Doesn't have to be cheating necessarily. It could just be a meddler. Could also just be work. Sometimes work can act as a mistress, right? And I say, I say that all the time. It is Pentacles, right? Along with Capricorn energy. We all know. We love you, Capricorns. We all workaholics. We know that. Anyway, Libra, you're coming to some knowledge about why things really fell apart with this person. And it feels like a painful truth. But it feels like a truth that you're not shocked by, but you're, it, it causes you more pain because it's almost like, again, if in this situation where it's from the person from the past, it's like you moved on right? Like you kept it going. You were, like I said, you're very Zen and you come into this information. And it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like that. Like <laughs> I was fine. I was fine. And then you could drop this truth bomb on me. That's a little harsh. Um, and for those where this is an energy of like, of someone you've asked for a break from again, family or love otherwise, because for some of you, this is straight up family. Um, you're realizing that there, there's just a lot of toxicity there between the two of you. Like, denergy, 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 devil energy has um, manifested here. It's come to fruition between the two of you and really causing a rift, causing the three of pentacles in reverse energy between the two of you. And you're coming to the knowledge that you need to get away from that devil energy. However, this devil energy came about, okay? I'm getting some, like, possessive gripping energy, Libra. Um Oh, clinging and more codependency, very needy on your energy. I don't think you realized you were dealing with an energy vampire. 
I think it started off great. Again, family or love or otherwise. It started off great, but um, it became very draining for you. It was very exhausting for you. Stressful. Oh, feeling ten of wands energy. Very, very stressful. You had to do a lot of work because this person requires so much <laughs> emotionally. They don't know how to self-soothe. They don't know how to self-soothe. And they cling on to your energy because it makes them feel better. And when they don't get it, it's like they need it, they need it, they need it. Like this is the person who panics if you don't like call them back after a few hours, you know, like that kind of energy. And you're realizing you got to get away from that. Anyway, I'm getting sucked in. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's look at the High Priestess in reverse and see what details we'll get off of that. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. For Libra, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse for Libra, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse for Libra, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Come on now. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Yikes. Oh, that actually just made me dizzy. Um, Again, more more addiction energy with devil and temperance. It's a lot of addiction energy and codependence coming in. Really needing to find balance because you're realizing this person is very imbalanced or the situation has been very imbalanced, regardless of whichever group you're in. You're realizing that this person is imbalanced. Tell me about the high priestess in reverse and that they've been throwing you off balance, Libra. Oh, and that is not okay. You also realize they've been throwing you off balance and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I need my balance, <laughs> right? Get the hell away from me. I need my balance. Uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Again, immaturity. Ugh, possessive immaturity. Ooh, uh, instant gratification. Just heard instant gratification. I'm guessing that's more for the addiction people. Um, but someone who seeks out instant gratification, they're very imbalanced. Yeah. Yeah, and Libra, I think that's why they're intruding. Intru I say intruding because that's how you're feeling, regardless if it's true or not. Um, that's why you're feeling like this person who you've asked for a break from is intruding on your energy, family, lover, or otherwise. And for this person returning from the past, it's just like, oh my God, why are you back? They want that instant gratification of your energy, Libra. That's what they want. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse. Oop. Double confirmation. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. It's really hard to, to collaborate with this person because this person is imbalanced and not on stable footing. And, and I'm not trying to like totally, you know, paint this person in a bad light. But this person needs to learn how to self-soothe, Okay. This person needs some self-love. They clear, And to do that, they clearly need some healing. They clearly need some growing. They just have to learn to self-soothe and find their own confidence and balance without relying on other people, hence not relying on you, Libra. You don't want to deal with this anymore. I can feel it. Overall energy, emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. It's interesting, Libra, because, again, for some of you, this is, you know, you're dealing with a very, like, wounded masculine energy, all right? Some of you are. Oh, interesting. Okay. And some of you, it's actually wounding your inner masculine by dealing with this person. Either way, shit ain't okay. <laughs> shit is not okay. Um, it's making you so unbalanced and ungrounded. It's like, you were so zen. You were so zen. And then they intruded. And you're just like, are you fucking kidding me? Sorry. I'm like, I'm feeling your agitation. <laughs> Sorry. But it's throwing you off balance in your inner masculine. And for and others, you're dealing with a very wounded masculine energy. Again, instant gratification. They keep throwing that at me. This is a person who relies, relies 
on instant gratification. Let's keep it moving. So then we have four of pentacles in reverse, release and letting go, right? In order for you to heal, in order for you to heal. But then we end with the nine of swords. Again, just get the fuck away from me. <laughs> it's like, God, even her face. Look at, look at the illustration there. Oh, please focus. Focus. No, maybe not. I don't know. You see, you see the illustration. It's just like, oh, I, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with this. Um, let's look at the four of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's a lot going on there. Um, yeah, I'm feeling legacy. Let's go for legacy. Final four of pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 2nd to the 11th. For some of you where this is family, I think you're dealing with a very wounded um, uh, father energy or grandfather energy. It's just feeling like masculine. They don't have to be. It could also be your mother, but it's masculine. And like I said, it's like wounded masculine energy. Their inner masculine could be wounded regardless of their, their gender. All right. So I got a couple cards out here. The tower. Scorpionic energy. I just heard let go. I just heard let go. Um, Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence with Page of Wands in reverse, which is my bad news card, okay? With this release, there is a tower moment, but it feels like a positive tower moment, even though it's coming with the bad news card. I feel like the bad news is more for them, for this, I'm going to say intruder because that's how you're perceiving them. You're perceiving them as an energy intruder. They're really an energy vampire, but energy intruder is what, how you're seeing them. It's bad news for them, but it's good. It's healthy, though. It's a healthy tower, but it's bad news for them because... They're not the healthiest person, okay? Tell me about Four of Pentacles in, rever in reverse. And I feel for them. I do. I mean, God, we've all been in a place where we've been really wounded and need some recalibration, some healing, and some learning how to self-love, self-soothe. We've all been there. This person just needs to learn that lesson. Tell me about Four of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Four of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Four of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh. Oh, yes, Libra. Hi. <laughs> the Libra Major Arcana card, Justice. This is exactly what needs to happen. It's exactly what needs to happen. Um, it's bringing you balance again. Yeah, it's bringing you balance again, and it's also helping you heal anything you need to heal from this situation. Because like I said, some of you, you were fine, and then they dropped a crazy truth bomb on, truth bomb on you, and you're like, what the hell? And others where you're in that situation where this is someone you asked for a break from, family, love, or otherwise, and they're intruding, um, it, it's, it's, you're realizing that, wow, like, I, I'm not happy, and this is painful, and I need, and I need to get away and heal from this. It's not easy, because even under that, we do have the five of cups, scorpionic energy, right? Loss, sadness. It is making, for those of you where you ask for a break, it is making you sad. It is. It's making you sad. It's making the other person sad, and it sucks, but you know, you're not happy, and clearly this person just They've got to work on them. They've got to work on them. Underneath that, the world in reverse. It's coming to a close, guys. And then look. Oh, my God. Nine of Cups. Ace of Pents. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment and a brand new stable beginning for yourself, Libra. This is exactly what's, what needs to happen. And it's going to lead to some great balance and, and, and progress for you, okay? And it's going to allow this person the time they need to get their shit healed. So... I can already guess what's going on with the tower, but let's look at it anyway. I feel like the tower is you just putting that final close on it, being like, look, let's all get our feelings out on the table. Let's talk about the reality of the situation and let's handle this, right? Whether it's someone returning and intruding or someone who you took a break from and they're intruding on your space, all right? But let's look at the tower. I'm gonna use the Gilded Tarot to clarify and then we will wrap this up with some advice. Tell me about the tower. Come on. 
sometimes you got to do what you got to do for your peace of mind. And Libra, you are so focused on your mental space right now, which is really cool, actually, because this is a time where most people are focused on their heart space. But you're about your sanity right now, your sanity and your balance. Tell me about the tower. Like, if my soul and mind aren't right, I'm not going to be able to handle anything. That's kind of how you're coming. That's where you're coming from. Tell me about the tower. For Libra, I just heard contingent. Hold on a second. What is this? Contingent. Some of you feel like maybe it's work. Maybe this is like for those where this is affecting your work. Yeah. Okay. Something about your soul and mind contingent on your work or your work is contingent on that being right. I mean, technically that would stand true for everybody, right? But something about that had to be said. Tell me about the tower. You know, maybe you're a therapist, you know, tell me about the tower. For Libra, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about this tower moment. What is this tower? Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Libra regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th see what we got here interesting two of swords in reverse moon and libra energy this has been coming out a lot for people um clear-headed decision a clear-headed decision on your part libra i feel that very strongly six of swords in reverse aquarian energy a clear-headed decision about the chaos that this person is causing in your life three of cups cancerian energy oh oh this is hard libra and you're gonna have a hard time saying this. Some of you are gonna have to say this to this person. <laughs> Deciding that a reconciliation is just gonna be too chaotic. It's gonna bring chaos to your life. You're deciding that. And I feel like you're telling this person that. Wow, ooh, that hit me in the heart space. Um, that's rough. That's a rough thing to say. Truth, yeah, it's the truth. Tell me about the tower. For Libra, regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about the tower. Oh, 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 this person. Oh, I feel for this person. Some of, gonna, some of them are gonna say, I can do better. I can do better. I can be better. But you know, Libra, you know. Tell me about the tower. And it kind of is making you feel guilty. Don't feel guilty, Libra. It's kind of making you feel guilty. Don't. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be um, air or fire. With the King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh, this is interesting. This was like a, hmm, what is this? Because this is, oh, okay, 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 got it, got it, okay, got it. So this tower moment is the conversation, right? It's the conversation. Here's you in that nine of pentacles energy, living life, being zen, being zen, being independent, focusing on you, focusing on your mind and what's going to nourish you. And this person comes in with that knight of swords and the king of swords in reverse, right? Coming in with very, very quick, a little abrasive communication, panicky. I'm getting, oh God, desperate. I don't like the word desperate, but it's panicky. It's panicky. It's needy. It's needy. Um, and with the King of Swords in reverse, they're not really thinking clearly. They don't have their head with them, all right? Their head, they don't have their wits about them is probably the best way to say that. They don't have their wits about them. And this is causing the tower because you're like, a reunion with you is going to be so chaotic. Like, no, no, I, I, can't, I can't have that chaos in my life. I can't have that stress in my life. I need my balance and you disrupt my balance. And that's just the truth of it. Overall energy for the tower, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or a uh, fire here. There, there's no growth that can be had here. Any growth that had taken place, it's already been played out. You can't, there's no more growth in this situation. There's no more room for this uh, connection to grow, whether it's someone again returning from the past or it's someone that you've taken a break from and they're like, hi, we're off our break, right? <laughs> You're not mad anymore, are you? You're not mad anymore. Can you give me some more of your Libra energy, please? <laughs> oh, I feel for this person. It's like, the, I feel like they're so deep in this, I don't want to say dysfunction, but that is kind of what it is, in this codependent dysfunction that 
they can't see like they're so far down that they can't see how far they've strayed from being um, an independent person you know someone who could stand on their own and they need to recognize that and Libra it's gonna be hard because I can feel your guilt it's gonna be hard and you're gonna even gonna you're probably gonna cry you're gonna be hurt because I mean you're healing from this too you're that's what you're focused on um but it's needed okay it's very much needed let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck any advice for my Libras any advice for my Libras regarding the spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? I'd be very careful with this person, guys. I mean, just because we do have temperance in reverse with the devil, no less. And it's like, we got a lot of chaos going on. Um, I would just be careful. I think this person is a little fragile, okay? Because I feel like they've been very reliant on your energy. Even if they're returning from the past, because it's like they need a fix. They need a Libra fix. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras? Ooh, let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this card. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. Oh, I love this energy. This and that are true. Are about be it's about being in transition, right? Um, as we change, there's still parts of ourselves that don't change, right? And other parts of ourselves that are new. And it's about meshing that. It's also my, one of my Gemini cards as well. It, you know, a sister sign of yours, another air sign. But Libra... You need to grow. That's what I'm getting with this. You need to grow in this situation, this person, not situation, this person. This person prohibits that. And some of you where you've had this separation, you've already started to grow. You've already started to regain your balance, right? Your balance of the left brain and the right brain, the balance of the masculine and the feminine. You've been working on that, getting there slowly. And then this person comes and intrudes and it's like, oh, no, 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 no. I need to stay on this path. I need to stay on this path. I need to keep growing. And I feel like you've grown within. Um, when you were with this person, because again, some of you, it's a break. Others, it's been a person from your past. When you were with this person, you did grow. And in your separation, even if it's been a break or like a long period between a breakup and them returning, you have grown a lot. Some of you in a very short amount of time. And you've incorporated that already into your energy. And it's like, I can't go back. I can't turn back the clock. I can't be the person that was with this person. I'm not that person anymore. Any advice? I'm not the person who would subject myself to that anymore. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Let's see what else we get. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? I'm also getting an acceptance of the way you feel about this person. You do have emotion for them. You do care about them as a human being. Um, and yeah, did you head over heels love them at one point or head over heels trusted them or gave them a lot of your energy? Again, because this could be family related. You did, and that's part of you is still there. But this new part of you where you got your boundary set is also very much here. And you've accepted that and they need to accept that. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, antelope spirit with the energy of two. Life is speeding up. You got two twos, Libras. Talk about synchronicities. Um, life is speeding up. It's time to really skyrocket in your growth, Libra. This is also why you got to close this door. Because for those where this is someone returning, like I said, you're getting a truth bomb here. You're getting a truth bomb that's going to hurt when you've already kind of put this behind you, but you're going to heal from that and it's going to create more energetic space for you to just skyrocket in your growth. And for those where you've taken a break and this person's intruding, closing that door finally is going to make you feel so much lighter. You're going to have so much energy, Libra. You're going to not know what to do with it. You're going to grow a lot, a lot. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh yeah, I love it. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. 48 that breaks down to a three, an energy of three. Um, Oh, 
new perspectives, new perspectives because you are growing, you are changing from closing this door, right? Um, going on an adventure too is actually what I just got. Ooh, Libra, all this energy and space that you're going to be making for yourself. I mean, you're just, your eyes are going to be open. You're going to be like, oh my God, all the things I could do, right? It's like, you're going to start trying out new things. You're going to be really adventurous through the summer, Libra is kind of what I'm getting up until August. August, something big is happening in August for you. Um, that just came in really strongly. But anyway, Libra, you're taking on a lot of new things and new perspectives, new way of, of looking at life. And it's it's like a new lease on life. I hate that phrase, but it's true. It's like a new lease on life and you're embracing it. And if you're not, you should. Okay. All right, Libra. I know this was intense, but hey, things got to change, right? We can't stay in the same place all the time. We can't let people feed off our energy. That's not balanced. And it's, it's almost been like an addiction for this person. Like I said, they need your fix. They need a fix. They need a Libra fix. But anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed that and found that insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on YouTube, comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Bye, Libras.